If you've been to a concert, then you've probably seen a glow stick before. But do you know what's actually making all that light? Well, if we zoom in, we can see that each stick has two compartments, one visible to the outside containing fluorescent dye and an ester, while the other is made of glass containing hydrogen peroxide. When you stretch the stick, this glass tube breaks, and the compounds mix. Ultimately, there's a chain of reactions that results in a high-energy intermediate, and when that intermediate tries to stabilize, it releases its excess energy in the form of light. While there are different esters that are used in these chemiluminescence reactions, the one thing that's constant is the hydrogen peroxide. The the reason for this is that the OO bond in the molecule is really weak, so when it breaks, it forms highly reactive oxygen species that will bind to pretty much anything. Because of this, in organic chemistry, we use these molecules in different reactions to create products you normally wouldn't see otherwise, especially when you're waving them around in the night sky. For more cool carbon-based chemistry, be sure to check out joechem.io, where you'll find that, 